What is up, girls and boys? Welcome! I am Bianca, and for today, I will be sharing with you all my thoughts slash review on RP Games and Top Hat Studios' fast-paced, casual alchemy simulation game Potion Party for the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, and Steam. In Potion Party, you are an alchemist brewing potions and selling them to the various different customers that happens upon your shop. Though the game is categorized as a party game, it can also be played solo and is similar in gameplay to Overcook. You have various tools and equipment at your disposal in order to effectively run your shop by mixing and matching bright colored powders and bubbling potions and you can upgrade them as you earn more and more coins and progress through the 12 stages in the game story mode, each with varying lengths and time limits. There are 11 characters in the game you can choose from, each of them with their own unique skills to help you through the game's levels and challenges. With 10 of these characters, you need to unlock with coins you earn from the levels you played. The game also features enemies in the form of ghosts, which suddenly appear and moves horizontally across the screen, get hit by this enemy and suffer the consequences in the form of a confusion status effect, as well as whatever item you're holding falling to the ground and breaking, slimes that causes you to slow down when you move over them, hampering your movements and making you lose that precious time, and thieves that puff out of nowhere to steal from you, only being defeated by dousing them with water. Aesthetically, Potion Party is cute, vibrant, and colorful with its stylized pixel graphics, and its music is equally upbeat and energetic with its quirky soundtrack. The controls are as simple as the game itself and is quite easy to remember, with you only using the left analog stick to move and the A button on the Switch or the cross button on the PlayStation 4 to pick up and put down items. Now, the game has other different game modes apart from its solo and co-op story modes. There is also the versus mode where you and your friends are grouped into teams of two and are tasked to brew more potions than the other team. And Infinity, which is essentially endless mode, where you have the challenge of keeping your shop open for as long as you can. Despite it being an entertaining and cheap co-op game, this title is lacking in various aspects. The controls, although simple, can be a bit buggy at times as items may not be picked up despite how much you spam the button to do so. The game also lacks in variety in terms of challenges and the enemies, as those which are meant to add to that challenge can simply end up as a frustrating element in this title. There is a lot of lull time in each stage as well, to the point that several long seconds will pass without a customer to cater, leaving you to just stand idly by doing nothing as the clock winds down for you to close shop. This would not be an issue if not coupled with the enemies in the game that are borderline infuriating, especially when you end up making a single mistake and bumping into them as that could quickly turn into you losing a customer and failing the stage altogether. And although there are upgrades and unlockables that could help you through the stages, most of them are costly and, like the slime reducing mats, do virtually nothing. Especially when you reach the final stage of the game, stage 12. The characters, although each with a unique special skill, also cost gold to unlock and upgrade and even then they don't really change the game that much. 
Even unlocking Loki, the wolf character that supposedly adds more customers coming to your shop, did nothing during my playthrough as despite using him, there was no increase in frequency of the customers. This game could be fun, but it personally ended up like a chore for me to play with how slow the customers spawning were and how exasperating the enemies could be in ruining a perfectly good run. By the time I reached stage 12, which is a 25 minute stage with the goal of earning 600 gold from the customers, I was looking forward to being done with this game which was made even worse when I failed the first time around and had to redo it because of the slow customer spawns and the whole enemies issue. At that point, the 25 minutes of replaying the game became torture as even with the upgrades that supposedly would keep the slimes at bay did nothing and they spawned in exactly the same numbers and density as they did when I played the stage without the upgrade. Potion Party is pretty short as well and could very well be a one-off party game you and your friends would play and pick up for a couple of rounds before calling it quits. The story mode could easily be beaten in less than 5 hours. My personal record was 2 hours and 25 minutes and that was just me playing solo. With nothing much to do and the challenge of the game being more about maneuvering away from enemies or dealing with the thieves, Potion Party, as I've mentioned, is definitely lacking on the whole potion brewing, cooking sim aspect of it. Perhaps an update to fix the customer spawn times and frequency, as well as more stages, variety in customers and their preferences, as well as different locations for your shop could make this game better than how it currently is. Now, in all honesty, I did initially have fun with the game. And I feel bad that the fun didn't last long as it tapered off by the time I reached the sixth stage. By that point, I saw that each stage, although it added enemies and some new mechanics, didn't offer anything beyond that as it progressed. Potion Party actually has potential to be a cheap overcooked alternative if it was polished enough, especially with the $9.99 price point. But with how the game currently is, it's hard to recommend at its current price. Of course, that's just my personal opinion and thoughts on this game. And that's about all I can share about Potion Party and my experience with playing this title. If you guys are interested in this game, as I've mentioned, it's out now for Steam, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch with a price tag of $9.99. Of course, just a reminder, um, the price is dependent on your region, so it could be lower or higher than that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye bye for now everybody. Keep safe, stay at home.